everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. We have a load of urea here, and what we're doing today is we're actually spreading urea out on the pasture. So uh, in one of our previous videos using the drone, we used this uh, wagon to tend to the drone to broadcast our cover crop trial out on one of my soybean fields. So. Uh, Andrew went and got some urea for the pasture. So what we're gonna do today is I've got my generator set up behind me, which it's on the pallet that it came on still. That was actually really handy that it was delivered like that. We just put the wheels on, but never took it off the pallet. Um, but I've got my generator set up over here to charge the drone battery. So I've got the drone already loaded over here. I've got the tender wagon already set up and this actually works pretty sweet. So I can bring the drone in and I can get it as close to the wagon as I can. I'll land it, I'll adjust the position on it if I need to, and I can just flip a switch on the wagon. It turns on the auger, which dumps the urea into the, the spreading unit on the T50 that we got from AgriSpray. And then what we're doing is we're actually gonna prioritize spreading on the large grass areas. Uh, first. So what I'm doing is I'm going to spread out on each of the four hillsides in this pasture. We've got some grass out in the Klein pasture as well. And the reason we're doing the grass first is because I'm prioritizing a higher rate uh, out on those areas that I know are going to grow well. And then once we're done spreading on all the grass, what I, my intention is to fly high up uh, just overall, I'm flying up high where I don't have to worry about the trees. I'm not too concerned about my spread pattern. I'm really just looking to get the urea out there and uh, see if I notice a difference for the remaining. We got at least one more growing month left uh, to utilize the urea. So uh, I'm hoping that by spreading out on the pasture, I can reach those areas with the drone that I can't and haven't been able to reach in the past uh, using a, a spreading buggy. So this is one of the big things that I wanted the drone for because there's a lot of areas out on our pastures that we can't get to. And the drone allows us, it's actually pretty cool. I can turn off the altitude stabilization on the controller and I can just set the route up and it'll fly the route. So it doesn't matter whether I fly, you know, 14 feet off the ground like we've been when we're spraying uh, or now I can just fly it out over the pasture, choose my set height where I'm not gonna hit any trees and just spread. And uh, I did a test trial uh, to get set up and it's working really good. Um, for broad broadcasting the urea, if I was doing it more uh, intentionally, like on the crops, I would wanna get it down uh, closer to the ground so it's more consistent. It is a little breezy today, but the wind's still under 10 knots, so it's optimal con spreading conditions uh, to the broadcast urea. So. We've got the spreading unit already loaded up and ready to fly. Um, we're gonna send it out and do each of the four hillsides and then I'm gonna pretty much just fly it up. Probably 50 feet is a good set point from here and it's just gonna start going back and forth across the pasture. So I went through and I drew out the crick because I don't wanna spread anywhere near that. Um, I don't wanna get anything close to the water. So I actually have it set back about 100 feet and that way we're staying back far enough to where it's not gonna be leaning in the water. <laughs> you know, you wanna make sure that you're being very cautious about where you're putting this stuff down, not only for environmental concerns, but also because fertilizer is expensive and you don't wanna be wasting it. So what do you say we fire this up, send it out on the next load, and uh, we'll see how far we get. I've got some things going on tonight that I have to quit for, but I'm hoping to get as much on as I can yet tonight because they are calling for rain overnight. And that'll be great for this urea because you always want to spread before, uh, not like a flooding rain, but a decent rain to incorporate that nitrogen into the ground so that the plants can utilize it. If it sets out on the ground, you can lose a very significant portion of your fertilizer, um, let's say if you're in a drought. So let's go ahead and send this out. I can actually get two loads out of one battery charge. Uh, the nice thing about where we're operating from is that the buildings are centrally located on this farm. This farm is in the shape of a giant L and we are right at the center on the inside of the L. So we've got our altitude stabilization disabled. I'm going to pick a height 
and I've been trying to stay at about 50 feet. Uh, the big thing is just trying to get the fertilizer out there. I'm not really too concerned about the spread patch pattern out on the pasture. And um, so far it's been working really good. You know, the, the for how the route spacing is set up, uh, I could probably set it up differently, but I'm okay with just overlapping it. Coming back in for a landing. Agrispray is now offering the latest in drone technology in the EA Vision J100. Be sure to go to the link in the description if you're interested in purchasing a drone of your own.
So I've got less than 600 pounds left on the wagon, which has been a huge help. Uh, Hannah and I had to step away and go to a birthday party for a couple hours, otherwise I would have had this done. But I'm happy with how much I did get done. I mean, for how much is left on the wagon, I'm not too worried about getting that off. But uh, seems like it's getting pretty bad outside, so if you guys are interested in a drone of your own, go to the link down in the description and uh, AgriSpray will hook you up with a dealer in your area. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.